I'm gonna be real. I don't know how this video is gonna perform compared to usual. I know it's not anywhere near what we normally post on the channel here, but I don't care. GTA 6 was revealed, baby, and suddenly the nostalgia of the buildup all the way through the launch and beyond with GTA 5, suddenly I'm 18 again. If it's not your cup of tea, I do apologize. We're back to normal content here later tonight and tomorrow and beyond with the launch of season one for Modern Warfare 3, the new map of Urzikstan and all that kind of stuff. But hey, I mean, if you wanna see GTA coverage, let me know. Otherwise, I might just throw it up on the second channel where applicable. But dude, 10 years in the making. It's weird, but awesome that the days finally come. I mean, this is absolutely a cultural record setting giant. For perspective, a little while back, Mr. Beast set the record for most viewed non music video in 24 hours. That was with 59 million views in 24 hours. That's a lot of views. But GTA 6's trailer one, it was at 48 million views display in nine hours, and it broke the record in just 13. And it's now, as of recording this, sitting at 75 million views in 18 hours. For perspective, that's not even the full number, especially with first day metrics. YouTube a while ago did away with the old 301 view cap for those that may be old enough to remember, and now there's instead display versus real-time views. A more accurate representation is the display on the public side, sure, but it's never the full picture, especially on day one. Oftentimes, it's around like half or three quarters of the real backend data that's tracked. At this point, because it has been, again, closer to a day, I wouldn't be surprised if it is, again, around that three-fourths mark, but we are well past even 75 million views at this point, guaranteed. For further perspective, GTA 6's trailer surpassed the amount of likes that the whole of the GTA 5 reveal trailer had in a full 12 years, in 40 minutes. That's how quick it took to pass. Now, if I'm being entirely honest, that's not the whole story. That video was initially meant to be a premiere where that video was already uploaded, had a landing page you could wait at for like 12 hours or so on top of that. But I mean, does that really make a difference? Half a day versus 12 years and it blew by the GTA 5 trailer. Now again, sitting at 8 million likes. And what's crazier still is we're gonna see that pass the GTA 5 trailer in viewership as well in like just about a day's time. Again, 12 years compared to a day. So if you haven't seen the trailer already, one, where have you been? Two, it'll be in the background as we run down a few things. Firstly, I think the game looks awesome. I know it's a mixture of probably cinematic sequences mixed with in-engine stuff, and it's not all exactly what we'll see in-game when you play it in still a little bit of time we'll get to in a second. It still looks incredible though. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Secondly, the release date, coming in 2025. Now imagine this would be the case, hoped it wouldn't be, but also again, didn't have those hopes too high, but 2025. Now, if I'm being honest with myself, I think it's personally gonna be like Q3 or Q4 for a launch. History of recent Rockstar releases have been around that time. Red Dead 2 was October 26th in 2018, which holy hell, I hate how fast time's flying by. I didn't realize that it's been half a decade already until just reading that. GTA 5, though, was September of 2013, with a next-gen release at the time of November 2014. So, not to mention, Rockstar is 1,000% aware of the impact in sales and increase in sales and how people are purchased heavy during the holiday season. They know they have a record-setting game on their hand, and I absolutely would not be surprised if that did happen. GTA 5 hit 1 billion in sales in just three days. The pace and hype behind this game already a year and a half minimum out. I bet they exceed that, maybe double it in as much time. If not, worst case scenario, the first week. Worst case for $2 billion. That's my assumption. But again, holiday of 2025 is kind of what I'm thinking. I'd absolutely love for it to be earlier. But again, that whole window of 2025, it's a pretty big safety net. You have 365 days to work with. So of course, 2025, still a little wise out, but we'll get there in no time, probably. Though if you are looking forward to this as much as I am, it is something you're really stoked for. It might feel like a little while. And finally, the platform availability. In a press release from Take Two, it was confirmed that GTA 6 would become to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. No PC yet and nothing on last gen. Now, first to tackle last gen situation, I know for a lot of people they still may not have Xbox Series X or S or a PlayStation 5, but at the time of a GTA 6 launch, those platforms will be on year five, maybe even with a mid-generation console like a Pro or a Slim version coming out by then. Simply put, it's just, it's too much of a generational divide at that point that development would truly be hindered by tailoring the game for systems that can be old as, at that point, 
12 years old. So sure, some people may be hit by this, but also it's the unfortunate reality of just tech going further into the future. Eventually, things are going to be obsolete in regards to that. Eventually, things are going to have to be dropped off for that specific reason. Second, PC not having a date. This one, I'm not really surprised by, but as a PC player, I kind of wish there would have been some clarity. Bummer, but I get it. It's not anything out of the ordinary here. Rockstar hasn't done this for a while having a PC port like that. And honestly, the PC port history in recent years or recent projects, not recent years because we're going back 10 years, Red Dead was just over a year later after its main console launch and GTA 5 was nearly two years later, which hopefully it's not that point. I would love to play PC GTA 6 before 2027, but we'll see. But anyways, that's that's GTA 6 right here. That's that's what got revealed to the world. And it's crazy that after again, 10 years, it's finally here or at least finally starting to be here. Still a little bit of a ways off, but that's where we're at. Wanted to fill you guys in. And again, don't know how this video is going to do. Very different than what we normally do. But anyways, we'll see you later for another video as well. So if you enjoyed this, you want to see more GTA coverage, feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Again, see you guys later for some more regular content, but just wanted to talk about this. I'm stoked. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Take care and peace.